Hi Gemini, how's it going? Welcome to your December general reading. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Gemini, welcome all. Thank you so much for being here. Y'all know I appreciate your likes, shares, and subscribes. Y'all's donations, your sweet comments. Thank you so much. It makes my little world go. I appreciate you. Um, as we always do right after this general reading, I go and do your love reading for the month. The love reading is where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love right now. We get their perspective. What are they thinking of you? How are they feeling towards you? All that kind of juicy stuff we unpack in the love reading okay that's always the first link in the description box below my email instagram i started a tiktok you guys it's freaking hilarious over there y'all asked me everyone was like start a tiktok jacqueline it'll be fun i was like i don't know it is kind of fun over there as well uh so if y'all want to come hang out and see some funny videos tiktok is where it's at over there so um let's see anything else oh I'm picking one of y'all's cards at the end of this reading. Don't forget, it could be you. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All right, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> There's three more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages? What are the best and highest messages for Gemini? All right. Ooh, who's that? Three of Pentacles. Nice. We have the Judgment card at the bottom of the deck with this Three of Pentacles. Okay, so I do feel like you are moving up. There's some type of graduation day. You've accomplished something. Congratulations. Give yourself a pat on the back. And it could be in regards to a work project, a work recognition. Uh, some of you could have gotten a raise or some type of uh, just kind of job well done overall, okay? All right, what is the situation with Gemini? What is going on with Gemini? Gemini! If there's, y'all, there's always a song with you guys. There's always a song. Leap of Faith. Yes, y'all have a new beginning right here. We have the Six of Cups. It could be um, about your children, but I really feel like this is a leap of faith in regards to something in regards to your past with that Six of Cups. But this is you like letting go, no more emotional baggage. Like I'm not hanging on to that crap. Uh, lighting your load and just feeling free, jumping into something, okay? What's crossing this for Gemini? What is crossing this? The chariot, so movement. Okay, so some of you could be connecting with a cancer. Um, I feel like you're trying to just find a little bit more balance in your situation before you get going. You're going somewhere, you're moving, you're, you're going to start something new here pretty soon. Yeah, we have the cycle. I feel like for some of you, uh, you could be a little bit on a delay on getting to where you're going or taking that leap of faith on something. Um, with the world card, you could be um, still ending something, okay, before you find your balance, get in that car and, and move towards something. Okay, what's the true focus here for Gemini? What's their true focus? Seven of, of Cups, I almost said Pentacles, and the King of Wands, interesting. What else with this Seven of Cups? What? Why is y'all's focus the Seven of Cups? Options in front of you. But you're stuck. Yeah, there's something like you want to do something, but you're stuck. Hang man, lots of water energy here. You could be in your feels and your emotions about something. Um, you feel something is destined for you and you're trying to be optimistic, but we're gonna have to we're gonna go back and clarify this. Something is kind of like, I feel tied to this, I feel stuck to this, I feel a little bit. It's like a, a big part of you is moving on, but you feel like something else is kind of holding you back over here in this one little pocket, in this one little corner over here. All right, let's, we'll break this all down in just a moment. What's been in the past? What's been in the past? A shadester. <laughs> Maybe that's why y'all are, uh, y'all recognize something about someone. Oh yeah, Six of Swords. Yeah, y'all have traveled away. In the past, you've moved away, gotten away, even if not physically, mentally, uh, cleared some space and, and, and put some distance in between you and someone in the Seven of Swords. Could be another air sign that some of y'all were dealing with. Um, yeah, and the fool's looking at that seven of swords. So like you want a fresh, 
a fresh new beginning away from whatever the Seven of Swords was. It doesn't have to be an air sign you were dealing with, but this was a situation or a person that was manipulative, um, that didn't have your best intentions at heart, okay? So you're kind of like, I feel like you kind of figured that out and you're trying to move past that, okay? What's in the crowning? Ooh, some of you want to be on your own. Some of you could be asking for space. And just, I just feel you just being like, you know what? Like, I just, you know, like, I just need to be alone. I need my space, okay? Like, I literally saw some of you just, like, pushing back from something. What's in the future? Future energy here for Gemini. Queen of Wands. Potential fire sign. Uh-oh, Six of Swords again. Someone coming towards you or you going towards them. What's Gemini's power? The Knight of Wands and the Five of Cups. So it's like you kind of have to pick yourself back up from something that kind of let you down. There's someone or a situation that let you down and your power is to like, <laughs> like shake it off, like to get up and shake it off, which is not always the easiest thing. So we're going to talk about all this in a moment. What's in their hidden environment? What's hidden in their environment? Thank you. Three of Pentacles and this King of Swords, okay? So that Three of Pentacles that popped out earlier, this is what's hidden from you, that there is like a true team player. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be a person because this could be you as well, this King of Swords or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone that you're in communication with. This is someone that wants to work with you, be a part of your life, be a part of your team. They want to see you succeed, grow, uh, blossom, that kind of thing. Um, they like want to put your ideas and ideals on a pedestal. Um, and they also are like very much like your cheerleader as well, I feel like. Um, very, very good. I like that person for you or that energy. It could be like a, a, a job. Um, like this could be a new boss being like, yeah, come work over here. We like really love your ideas. You could really help, help us and benefit us. Like someone wants you to be a on a team, in a team with them. Okay. Keep in mind, these are general. Keep in mind, these are general. Uh, what is, what's Gemini's hopes and fears? Judgment. one more two of swords two of pentacles <laughs> to get out of that energy for sure yeah i feel like you're needing to definitely surrender to something let go um and get out of this indecision energy all right let's look at the outcome right now you coming out ten of wands okay so you feel like you have to end something bottom of the deck is the two of cups so there could be like a friend a partner for some of you something that you feel like I feel like you kind of need to shake something off. I feel like you're like, ugh, this thing is like attached to me. It's stuck to me. But like once I free it, I'll be done, okay? Something with your with your outcome here, the Ten of Wands, this is telling me that in the outcome, like you're releasing a huge burden off of your shoulders, like huge. Something has been burdensome. Something has been an uphill battle. Not easy. Not easy for sure. I want to go to, I'm going to clarify these messages. What's the fool for Gemini? Why, what's this leap of faith for you guys? It's like, it's like, I want to do something new. You want to like start from scratch. Like, oh, it's like, I want to get out of my town. I want to get out of my relationship. I want to get out of my career. Like you just want something completely fresh and new from what you've been dealing with. You crossing you, what's maybe preventing you is getting in the car and actually going. So there's something about your desire that you have and actually getting in the car and doing it. So there's something to be worked out. There's a balancing energy here, okay? Uh, your true focus is the seven, seven of cups with the hangman. Again, you want options. You're looking at options, options in work, options in people, options in friends, any and all of that stuff, okay? Some are really good, some are a little bit Seven of Swords, some are a little bit sketchy, so be aware here. I also do like the hangman with this because this is telling you to, before you look at all these options, make sure you are thinking of you first. Make sure that these options are the best for you, that these people that you're about to surround yourself with are the best for you, that the job you're about to be in is the best for you, okay? But again, with this hangman energy as well, I feel this like 
uh, but I'm kind of like tied to this one thing. I'm kind of tied to this one thing that I don't want to be tied to anymore, okay? In the past, you totally found the snake in the grass. You found out who this person is or you realize that a situation that you're in was manipulative and you were not being respected the way that you deserved. In your crowning energy right now, what you're thinking about, again, is pushing back, pushing away, getting your space, and really figuring out what you want. You have two cards here of pulling back, I need my space, I need to figure this out, right? So cross watchers, if Gemini is asking for space, they need space right now. Uh, in the future energy, you do have some passion, some romance, some uh, a lot of abundance coming in because you find, I feel, I feel like this Queen of Wands is a version of you that figures out how to get those ideas going and get in that car and get moving, okay? So for whatever it takes, they're saying whatever it takes, Queen of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, ping, ping, boom, like pop, 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 fast, fire energy, like something, it's like something you need to do is just like, needs to pack a punch. So you might need to be a little bit aggressive with something. Like I feel I'm being a little aggressive right now. Not aggressive, but like loud and like in this queen of wands energy. And they're telling me this is like the kind of energy you need to get in. Like you, because you know what you want. This is in your environment, but this is also you. And this king of swords energy. It's like that masculine energy of I know exactly what I want. And if there's anything in my way, bye, 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 bye. I'm laser focused. You are laser focused on what it is that you want. And there is something or someone in your way. Wow. I want to look at your five of cups. Why are we upset? Why is Gemini crying or upset or releasing? Queen of Swords. Some of you have a lot of other, uh, dealing with someone with a lot of other air in their chart. Five of Swords for Gemini. Like what happened to make y'all so upset? Page of Cups, it could be about your children for some of you. But I don't think so. Ten of Swords. You're needing to make an ending with someone who is just, uh, we have the Justice card here, it could be a Libra. But but overall, it's like you, it's like you know, it's like you know what it, what you need to do to make this situation right. Not only right for you, but right for everyone else involved. And a part of that is, again, this Knight of Wands energy, suiting up, getting in this fire energy. I don't want to, but I need to. I know that I have to do this one thing before I'm free. I have to do this one thing before I'm free. Whatever that means to you. That is like your big message here. There's like a one big, it's almost like a sacrifice. Not even a sacrifice. It's something that's like you have to just kind of... Uh, put on your big girl panties or big boy underwear, you know what I mean? And just like, okay, I have to really adult today. And you have to do that big thing and then, then it's done and you're a free bird and then you can go do all these like wonderful things you wanna do. But there is something or someone holding you back, holding you back, it's coming in. They're just like, like I see you as the eight of swords and the blindfold is the person, hold, like they're holding a blindfold over you. And you're just like, why can't I see it? Why can't I see it? Because it's them or it's the situation that you're in. Take that blindfold off, Gemini. Take the blindfold off. Um, what's in, in your environment? What's this King of Swords? Haha, <laughs> yes, Nine of Cups. This is, I feel like you want to break out of something. Three of Swords. I feel like for some of you, you want to be single. You want to, like, if you're in a relationship, I really feel for a lot of you, you just, like, want to be on your own. And that's come up a couple of times, I'm not going to lie, in the past couple of readings. Like, someone that you're dealing with or multiple people that you're dealing with, um, you don't want that. You don't want that. Five of Wands. Yeah, there's just a lot of... Something that you're, whatever situation that you're in, if it's a job, if it's a family member, if it's a lover, if it's a friend, these are general. Whoever this person or situation is, it is like conflict after conflict after conflict after conflict. What are you going to do about that, Gemini? Well, I've already told you what you need to do. Let's cut it out. Let's cut it out. Let's look at your 10 of wands. That's you like ugh, finally surrendering to it. What advice do we have? For Gemini here. Eight. What did I just say? I was like, I feel like the end of swords is gonna is around. <laughs> Ten of 
Ten of Wands for Gemini. You got the Emperor and I think this is the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor. You have to really work on being the boss that you are. It's like you have to, for you to stand up and go get those things and like be this Emperor energy, which he gets. The Emperor gets whatever he wants because he's fearless. He's fearless and he's an Aries. He's a fire energy. So it's like, and for some of you, this could be about like, okay, I need to surrender to this career so that I can, uh, this situation so I can level up and, and get this job. But honestly, I really feel like this is about a person for a good group of you. Like it's gonna be hard for you to do this. It's gonna have to really be like a meticulous, like you're gonna have to abuse like your, your very crafty skills and your special communication skills, Gemini, to get through this. But I really, really feel like you, um, because you have the seven of wands, you believe in something on the other side of this. Whatever this is about for you, you know there's like gold on the other side. There's your treasure, the whatever, because it, it's, it's, it's getting through a fear. There's something that is terrifying you right now, terrifying you. And before you, uh, before you can get to the other side of it, you have to face that fear. And once you do, I feel like everything is gonna just like explode and be like amazing for you. What's this hangman for Gemini? Hi, Priestess. You know exactly what it is. It's, it's right here in your gut. It's like exactly what you're feeling right now, what's holding you back. That's what it is. Let's get a couple more. What is this hangman for Gemini? Well, you guys, I know y'all don't want to be stuck either. I know y'all don't want to feel stuck either. We have this five of pentacles. I'm not going to take another one because that just went everywhere. So yeah, I, that's telling me that I know y'all don't want to be stuck. I know. I know. Y'all are fast. You move around. You have a lot of energy. You like to talk. You like to dance, you like to keep moving, but something or someone, again, is keeping you stuck, okay? Five of Pentacles, you know, I feel like you do have this, like, fear of, like, being alone, but you also want options at the same time, so choose which one that you want, okay? Um, let's see, what other clarifier? Let's pull another couple uh, clarifying final messages here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card, we have the Three of Swords, and we have the Four of Swords. For some of you, you've been taking your time, you've been contemplating, you've been waiting for this Three of Swords, or some of you are healing from a Three of Swords, some type of pain, heartbreak, or breakup, okay? But it is what is fair, what is just, and what is right. And I don't mean the breakup is what's right, that's always your choice, but you're doing what is right for you is what I mean to say with that justice energy. Okay. We have the Hierophant out. What else do we have here for Gemini? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Okay, well, if that doesn't say it right there, you guys. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So we have the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. So, sorry, these are all, like, pretty much all black with gold on them. There we go. Really cool deck. Aren't they gorgeous? I love this deck. Okay, so you have the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. The Hierophant could be specifically a Taurus for you guys. For the rest of you, Hierophant is representing a commitment, something that you signed up for, something that you believed in or believe in right now. Ten of Swords is done. Whatever you used to believe in, it's done. For some of you, very, very specifically, Hierophant is, is your marriage, okay? So Ten of Swords is that justice card, you know, legal, legal stuff, right? Like a seven, bottom of the deck, Seven of Cups. You want options. So... So for those of you that are like, no, I don't want options or, you know, that's not what I want. I want to stay in this and this is not your message. I'm connecting with a Gemini that doesn't want to be tied down to whatever that means. A person, a commitment that keeps them in one place, um, something like that. Like y'all want to be free. Like y'all just birds right now. You just want to be like, go, 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 like flying around, like party fun, flying friends, like doing your thing. But something that's like one wing is like pinned down to the ground. So if you're going to get flying, you've got to look at that and you've got to face that fear, Gemini. I love y'all so much. I mean that with the best and highest love, of course. Okay. I'm not trying to be harsh on you guys, but it is that kind of energy of like figure out exactly what it is that you want. Maybe meditate on it, pray on it. 
write about it, um, you know, talk it out, talk it out even with yourself. Um, and, and I really feel like you will figure it out. Okay, where is, so we're gonna do your pick a card reading. Sorry, it's right here. Where are you? Okay, who are you? Jackie Mendez. Jackie Mendez. I hope you can see that. Jackie Mendez, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I really, really appreciate you. And I'm going to do a quick pick a card reading for you. So Gemini, if you want me to pick your cards next time, simply just be subscribed to this channel and next time I could pick you. Um, and if you want me to pick your name, just simply leave your name also in the comment section down below. So subscribe to this channel and leave your name below next time I could pick you. For the rest of you, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so, so much. I will see you next time in the mid-December, mid-month or in the love reading if you wanna know what's going on with your other person in love. We're gonna do that next and that's downstairs below. All right, Jackie. How are you, my love? This is for Jackie Mendez. All right. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Jackie? for these messages for Jackie. All right, love, you have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. You could be in love. Uh, you could be connecting with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so it looks like there's something very fun and romantic going on with you and somebody, okay? Spirit, what do we have for Jackie? She is a Gemini. So we have the nine of wands and the queen of wands. You could be connecting with a fire sign for sure. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have the chariot that's about fast movement here, so someone could be on their way. Uh, on their way, yes, with a love offer. We have the, the princess of cups, which is the page of cups, and uh, temperance, which is Sagittarius, which is more fire energy. So I kind of feel like this message is saying right now, yeah, you have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you, you're thinking a lot about someone. Yeah, you have the Nine of Wands and the Four, the Nine of Swords and the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There is someone that's coming in with a love offer, um, and I feel like they mean um, they're they're pretty committed to this love offer. They're coming in kind of slow, like it could be a. Um, with this temperance energy and this page of cups, it's like this person wants to come in and send you like offers of love and like flirt with you and that kind of thing. But with this, this queen of wands energy, they're also very like serious and determined. They have a lot of passionate feelings towards you. Um, and I do feel like they wanna ask you something, like they wanna ask you something in due time. That's what, that's what that was about, okay? So the temperance card is like in due time, they do want to, um, I, I, I do feel like be in this four of wands with you, which is maybe in a commitment, maybe a marriage, maybe it's a roommate or someone that wants to move in with you down the road, but I really feel like this is more of a love or a romantic and more of a, a partner kind of deal. You're, this is you and the nine of wands. Jackie, your walls might be up right now um, because of past um, relationships or just past, you know, you've been kind of, screwed over recently in relationships or just in the past. So your walls are up. So this person, that's why they have to be in this queen of wands energy and they have to kind of um, really, I'm hearing fl fluff your feathers or like, like a peacock. No, they have to like show their peacock feathers to you is what they're showing me. Like, like really like, Ooh, like look at me. Like someone's really trying to impress you or like, um, you know, come towards you. And it might be confusing to you because it's like, their energy is really big, but their approach is very slow at the same time. But it's because they do want a commitment down the road, okay? I feel like you know this and you're just like, I can't sleep about it. Like nine of swords, like this person gets me excited. Like, what is this? So, wow, very interesting reading, Jackie. Thank you so much again for being a subscriber. That is y'all's reading. Thank you so much for being here. I love y'all dearly and I'll see you next time.
Bye.